Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the PWAG Brenta C 4x4 snow tire chains here on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. So if you guys are looking for something that's gonna be a little bit well suited for your Bronco Sport to go ahead and start taking in a little bit more heavy duty applications, these can be a really nice way of doing that. Why? Well, because the Brenta C's have been designed for your 4x4 and SUVs that are gonna be packing those all wheel drive trains. And that way you can take these guys and start having a little bit of fun. As you guys are seeing, we're seeing a little bit of a heavier duty square link chain here. So a pretty sizable square link chain for ourselves. That's going to be great to go and head and get us that traction control we're looking for. And if you guys kind of see, we have a little bit of an irregular kind of shape to our chain. That's the star wave formation that PWAG has put into these. And it just kind of makes it a little more non-uniform. That's going to be greater for, like we said, your off-roading capabilities of really adhering to that kind of hazards that you're going to be rolling into. So even no matter where your kind of tires making contact with, you're going to have that traction control, which is excellent. And it also is offering you a little bit of advantage over like your ladder style chains because you're having that constant contact of your chain, right? We're not having these uh, hills and valleys that we're running into and we don't have to overcome that. So still gonna be excellent for keeping our turning radius still how we had it, which is great. Still getting us that traction control, but again, um, still doing a great job of biting through that snow and ice, which is excellent. One thing I really like about it too, really, really easy to get this installed. We're just gonna have a drape over tire design, make a back connection, make our front. You guys are gonna see that here in just a second for the installation, but really, really like how that works out for us. And again, the titanium uh, steel alloy in this, make sure it's gonna be uh, ready to handle anything we throw at it. And also is gonna make it resistant to corrosion. Now, of course, with any chain, it can go a long way of servicing these guys, especially when they're not in use getting any of those kind of like road salts or chemicals off of it as quick as you can is big um, and secondly just put a little oil or grease and actually getting these properly stored in a nice place can be good to make sure that they're ready to go the next season that you need them as well uh, a couple other things to mention too the uh, bronco sport is going to be as we mentioned a four x four all-wheel drive vehicle so the one thing with that you are probably going to need to go ahead and grab yourselves two set of chains per ford manufacturing design as they do have the those sensors on there and it can kind of get wonky if you don't put all four tire chains on there so that is something that our vehicles owners manual guide does indicate for us to do so it's something we probably want to follow and today we are working on 225 65 r17 tires make sure you guys are putting your tire size inside our vehicle fit guide to make sure you're getting the right ones as well but otherwise it's not going to take us too long to actually get this installed why don't we go ahead and see how we can do that together to begin your installation, all you want to do is go ahead and lay out your chain as you're seeing it. So the big things we're looking for, if we have any kind of kinks or binds in our chains, we just want to walk those out and unflip them as we don't want this kind of making itself having a bad fit on our tire. You'll also notice that we have our hard points of contact facing away from us with our soft points of contact facing us. So why that is, is we're gonna be laying this side against our tire. We don't want our hard points of contact scraping, puncturing, or otherwise putting any wear and tear on our wheel. So we simply just need to go ahead and check all that. Once that's done, what I like to do, kind of group this near your plastic here. That way it's gonna be a little less in the way. And then we can just simply slot it, take our chain, throw it around our tire, try to find that center point where that break, that natural break in the chain is gonna be. Of course, bring your adjuster across here. I like to kind of fan out my chain just a little bit to make sure that it is seating properly there. That we have a good fit, but that's looking pretty good. Now we go ahead and grab our two connectors and make our first connection. At the top here, we just need to hook in just like so. Now that our back connection is made, we simply wanna go ahead, seat our chain around our tire and make our front connection here. Now, preemptively, I can see that I have a lot of spacing here between the top. So what I'm gonna do, instead of going to the very end here and leaving this really big gap, I'm just gonna short it down about to the middle here. Now, you guys may need a little extra or even maybe just a little less. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to seat this over, make sure I'm nice and close. Looks like I can probably get that guy. There we go. And that way I can hold myself in. You can always take this plastic clip off too if you guys need and actually move it. Now it's gonna be a little hard for me with my gloves on, but as you guys can see, I can take that. Then I can move my plastic spacer to wherever I need it. 
and that can let me shift it down and get that extra linkage out of the way. That way you guys have it for later. Now we're not gonna do it now as I'm gonna go ahead and tension the rest, but that can be a nice way of just managing these extra links. But now that we have that top connection made, we can bring ourselves to the bottom here, take our tensioner, slot it through our pulley system, start getting that nice and tight for ourselves, bending this back to over here. I can see that I'm gonna need to move my plastic spacer on this guy as well. So I may go ahead and do that really quickly, but that's gonna allow me to tighten this up and make our last connection here. But I think it's actually pretty good, even without having to go to our other connector. I'm actually just gonna see if I can take it straight across to here. And loop in. Now that actually is looking pretty good to me. I am seeing a few little spots, but honestly that's awesome for ourselves. So I think that is in a pretty good little spot. I'm seeing a little bit here on the side. So what we could do, go ahead and move this plastic piece down to here, bend this through this guy and pull it back across. That can be another nice way. But honestly, I think we are in a pretty good spot here today. But let's go ahead, mess around with that a little bit off camera and see if it gets us any better. So we went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit. As you guys can see, I've moved that plastic piece to this closer position here. Now, if you were to go ahead and just open up all these chains all the way, you'd probably be able to get this to go here and then back across. Now that might be a little better, but I'm really happy with how nice and secure I am on this guy. Uh, again, though, it's gonna be really easy to go ahead and set this how we want. And as you guys can see, it is gonna be a great fit. Well, as you guys saw, that installation took very little time, in my opinion. One thing I really like about it, I'm not having to get underneath my tire. I'm not sitting in that snow and that ice. And talking about sitting in that snow and the ice, you actually do have a nice little kind of like plastic sheeting in here to go ahead and lay in front of yourself, included in your nice little travel case here. So, PWAG's done a great job with this box. It's nice and sturdy. It does have eyelets, I believe, at the bottom. Actually, I'm not seeing any. A lot of these cases do. So, this this might be excellent to go ahead, even throw these in there when we have a little slop on there, and that way we're not getting the inside of our Bronco Sport dirty. Um, again, nice that it's gonna be holding up well, gonna be a really easy way of carrying your chains and storing them when not in use. But overall, guys, I think the PWAGs here are great. I like how we have a nice heavy-duty chain here for ourselves, and everything is metal, right? We're not gonna have anything plastic that's gonna be breaking off anytime soon, uh, anything that's core to our development, I should say. Um, and that's gonna be great, because we can take this on those off-roads Get, get lost or anything or have anything break, which is excellent. It's kind of what the Brenda C's been designed for, so I do like to see it getting its full use out of it. Otherwise though, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the PWAG Brenda C 4x4 snow tire chains here on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.